So growing up, I wasn't really exposed to Batman because according to my dad, Batman has a dark side. He's not entirely good, but also not entirely evil. For my parents, there was no such thing as moral ambiguity. If something wasn't all good, then it was definitely all bad. So in action figures promote violence, and I read a study that children who are exposed to violence become violent. I agree with your mother on this one. One time during the year that I was on chemotherapy when I had cancer and we were talking to this neighbor. Hey kid, do you like comic books? I got a collection of hundreds of comic books and I'll give them all to you if you want. But I had to be like, thanks mister, but I'm not allowed to read comic books. So the neighbor with sunglasses looks at my dad and my dad is like, it seems like the comics today are a lot different than the comics when I was growing up. Sometimes you can't tell who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. Do you know what I mean? What if I separate all the good comics from the bad comics, and I give all the good ones to your son. Yes, daddy, please, please, please! Yeah, I, uh, I suppose that would be all right. I'm so excited, I take one and I sit down on my bed and I start to read it, and a few pages in, a character gets shot and then swears. So I've been corrupted by this image of violence and the sight of a bad word. I'm never gonna get them out of my mind forever. Go away, stop thinking about it. Oh no, it's still in my mind. I can't get the- So I took that page to my dad and I was like, look what I just saw in this comic. And my dad was like, looks like he gave you the wrong pile of comics. And I never saw the neighbor with the sunglasses again. Which I realize sounds a little bit ominous. I don't mean to make it seem like my dad took care of him or something. You exposed my son to violence, I'll show you some violence. I missed out on things like Batman and Harry Potter. Last year I did expose myself to Harry Potter. And dun, 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 dun. book one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So far the exposure hasn't turned me into some kind of satanic cult member, so I think it's about time for me to be exposed to Batman in both comic and action hero form. Son, this time you've gone too far. I hate to do this to you, but unsubscribe. Also, hit that thumbs down button. Alright, so here is our glorious box of moral ambiguity, the space between good and evil. I didn't plan this, but <laughs> wonderfully, the first book I find is not Batman. If my parents would have let me read this either, let's flip through and see if we can find any. There, cover it up. All right, so I'm gonna try and show them to you in chronological order. Let's see, oh. okay, yeah. So this is the first one, The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller. It's regarded now as like one of the greatest Batman novels of all time. So many spoilers, so many spoilers. Ah, uh, there we go, okay. So, who is this? Ah, uh, it's Superman. So this novel was actually the basis for the new movie, Batman vs. Superman. Dun, 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 dun. Batman, year one. This book is the basis for Christopher Nolan's Batman, The Dark Knight Trilogy. Here we have it, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> See, check it out, we've got the 30th, anniversary edition book and the 30th anniversary edition action figure. Why are you opening this box? That is a pristine box that should be kept in forever. I'm not sure why all the commenters have such high nasally voices today. I'm gonna come from this crinkly home. <laughs> like an evil villain uh, has tied Batman into his packaging. Like he's like, oh, I cannot, I cannot escape. Uh, let me go, Joker. I apologize, that was a terrible Batman impression. Batman there sounded exactly like troll commenters. Let me give you a better voice. Where is she? I do not want to be held in this crinkly plastic cellophane tomb. Batman is almost ready to fight crime, or does he contribute to crime? You can tell that I've never opened an action figure before based on the fact it's taken me like three minutes just to get this guy out of the biceps. Now I will straighten my elbow. Triceps. Ah. All superheroes. He has a six pack that's somehow visible <laughs> underneath his like Kevlar. Like I'm doing crunches. I will have the best six pack. Ah. Yes. More fun than I would have expected. Wow. That is the face of a morally ambiguous superhero. Speaking of things that I was not allowed to be exposed to growing up, next week is Halloween! Oh my- You're following me on your favorite social media platforms so that you can see my picture of my Halloween costume this year as soon as I post it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hang out sometime.